Well, it is Friday morning and I am waiting to hear about when I'm supposed to go do my physical. <clears throat> and everything tarped up last night and looking good. Oh man. I get to sleep a little more last night than I have been, so yay. But uh there's my there's my truck. Tarp job. I gotta tie down the front, but other than that, she looks pretty good. I like it. That was a that was a pretty easy tarp job except for my canvas tarps not being folded correctly. I had to had to kind of manipulate them a little bit, but no big deal. Uh, I'll let you know when uh, <clears throat> when I get on the road. All right, we are headed out. Finally, it's uh, 10:43. I got my medical card. I'm legal. And all that sent into Maverick. Uh, took a couple hours to do that. And I had some dude yelling at me. Thought I was in his class, I guess. I don't recognize the guy. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> I think he was right. I think he was behind me in class. I think. Maybe. Oh no, I know where he was at. He was in my securement class. That's right. And uh, he did, uh, he was over at uh, 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 Diesel Driving Academy or, or uh, ASU uh, Newport, one or the other. That's what, that's what class he was talking about. I remember. Uh, well, we got a thousand seven miles to go. I gotta be there Monday morning at 1 a.m. Man, that's gonna be early. I know. But uh, I'll get there. Uh, I'm gonna drive all day today. I'll drive mm, most of the day tomorrow. Uh, calculate my 34 and uh, see where that puts me. Uh, tonight I will I'm gonna try to make it to uh, I'm gonna try to make it to uh, I think it's Madison Illinois uh, where our terminals at uh, I'll try to make it there tonight and uh, stay there they've got you know courtesy cars and stuff you can use that kind of stuff I can go get me some maybe go get me some Chinese food or something Sounds pretty good. Wow. Railroad tracks. Those are bumpy, bumpy. But I should be home Wednesday. I talked to my fleet manager, and he said, he said, I didn't care if he had to deadhead me all the way back from Ohio to get me home. He didn't get me home, so I appreciate that. Uh, so, you know, if you... If you do what you're supposed to do and and, and uh, be where you're supposed to be on time, and, you know, do good planning and stuff like that, they'll watch out for you. And uh, I communicate with him quite a bit, make sure he knows where I'm at and what I'm doing. And, and uh, he lets me know when stuff isn't going right and all that good stuff. Not with me, but, you know, with freight and everything. And he takes care of me, and I appreciate it. I'm going to get off here and drive. I'll see you later. So I've got uh, got about a little less than 400 miles to Madison, Illinois, and uh, I'm gonna stop there for the night. What I might do is I might do a little bit of recap next week. Not do a 34 this weekend. Drive to Madison uh, today. Stay the night in Madison at the terminal uh, drive uh, tomorrow uh, almost all the way there 
uh, I think I can stay at, uh, I think I can stay at, uh, the ship where I'll have to look tonight when I stop. Um, and then sit there, sit at the, sit at the shipper, well, close to the shipper, because I can't, I don't think I can get all the way to the shipper on Saturday. Uh, drive a little bit on, do my 10 hours, drive a little bit on Sunday, and then get to the shipper, do a 10 hour break, and uh, deliver at 1 a.m. Monday morning. Man, I hate that thing. It just goes off randomly. It's a bunch of crap. Um, and drive on a little bit of recap next week. I'm only going to have to do it for a half a week because I'll be home on Wednesday. Or at some point on Wednesday. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, and that'll spread out my, my miles. It'll give me a weekend split. Some miles on this week's check and then some miles on next week's check since it's a since it's a short week i think that's probably probably the the best scenario um i mean i could get there tomorrow and, and do a reef uh, almost do a 34 but i don't think it'll i don't think it'll pan out that way so i think that's what i've decided to do um but that's okay because that gives me uh gives me uh, two more days of doing videos this week, right? Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying all of these. Um, I'm getting lots of watch time. I appreciate that. Um, hope you guys are enjoying what I'm, what I'm showing you. Uh, I'm glad I figured out how to uh, how to get my uh, uh, get my phone to do all this stuff. You know, I watch uh I watch some videos online, uh, kind of a car buff, so I watch quite a few, quite a few of that stuff, and and uh, one of them I watch is the Strad Man. He does a daily vlog uh, for his supercars and stuff like that. He started out. I don't know if anybody watches it. If you watch it, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you watch it or not. Um, if you don't, go check out his channel. He started out flipping cars and, and worked his way into and worked his way into you know buying several supercars and he vlogs about that which is all right but one thing he does is he talks about talks about utah because he lives in utah and talks about them talks about utah flexing on the nation all the time well i got news for you arkansas can do the same thing i'm up in the uh boston what they call the boston mountains right now uh i guess they're mountains they look like hills to me takes a while to get up these suckers I know that's for sure uh, but if you've never been up here in this north northwest Arkansas up here where the Razorbacks play uh, not that you'd want to go see them play at the moment but whatever <laughs> uh, but during the fall this place is lit up man all the everything is everything is is colorful and all the trees have their have their their uh, reds and oranges going on with the speckles of green in there but uh, if you've never been up this way you should visit especially if you like to drive because these some of these roads are nice and if you go down a little bit down south toward Ozark we have the uh, what they call the pig trail and uh, it's one of the actually was named one of the best roads in the nation for uh, driving enthusiasts so if you want to come see that you should come see that it looks like it's going to get foggy and nasty we're coming up on uh, Fayetteville right over this hill we should be able to see Hell, if it's not that foggy, should be able to see Fayetteville. And off in the distance, I uh, can't really see it. Listen. 
it's Razorback Stadiums down there and University of Arkansas. We got a niece by marriage going to uh, U of A. She is going to try to do pre-med. She did pretty good. She got a full ride, man. Can't beat that. Good job, Willow. I also found out today that uh, one of my cousins was going into surgery. She, they have found uh, some cancer, and they didn't know it. So she's in surgery, having that removed. Hopefully, they'll get it all and uh, get her better. So, speaking of cancer, I'm going to touch on a subject here that's pretty hot and heavy. So Arkansas was the first uh, basically southern state to pass medical marijuana. And I know there's a lot of older generation that still thinks it's, you know, it's, it's a bad thing. You know, but I mean, the more studies they do about it, especially the uh, uh, CBD oil and what they call an RSO uh, the more promising it looks to be something that can that can definitely help a lot of cancer patients uh, it's I would think that something that that uh, is natural. It can it can help seek out those cancer cells and, and and keep them from multiplying. Would be a whole lot better than killing every single cell in your body with chemo or radiation, or at least in a targeted area. That's just my thought. Um, you may smoke marijuana. I don't know. If you do, fine. If you don't, fine. Uh, but uh, it's. Uh, I think it. I think the more they study it, the more they're going to realize that that it, the benefits are going to outweigh the side effects. Um, and I believe I I saw a post um, earlier today. I didn't click on it. Uh, I may read it when I when I stop tonight, but I, I saw a post today talking about uh, uh, something passed uh, some kind of committee in the in the government to uh, pave the way for legalization and uh, uh, possibly um, possibly getting you know getting people out of out of jail and prison for for. Uh, marijuana convictions. Um, I know the other night on the debates, Joe Biden hit on that, or there was a couple of them that hit on it, but I remember, you know, uh, specifically remember Joe Biden talking about, about you know, paving a way to, to legalization and, and uh, uh, expunging people's records of, of marijuana convictions. Now, the way I see it is, is it's it's less habit forming than than alcohol and tobacco, and all that stuff's been legal for years and years and years and years and years. And it's all about it's all about money. So the more these states legalize it, and the more the government sees that that it it's going to bring in revenue and uh, possibly, you know, another crop for farmers. <clears throat> I think you'll see. I think you'll see more, uh, more uh, uh, progress toward uh, legalizing. That's just my thoughts. But I, I, I say if it if it helps people, and uh, and and. It can it can do it without all the, the 
the bad side effects of, of the way cancer is treated right now, uh, I say go for it. So what do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button if, uh, if you like cannabis. Hit that like button if you don't like cannabis. Hit that like button if you don't care. Uh, and also subscribe, please. I would appreciate it. I've gotten to Madison, Illinois. I got my trailer dropped off. They're going to try to get it fixed tonight. It is actually uh, scheduled for tomorrow at 11, but they're get, I dropped it. Let them put a, pull it in and see if we can get it fixed tonight and get on the way in the morning. I am going to sleep in in the morning for a little while, though. I'm tired. I'm at Walmart. It's a good thing about Maverick. If you can get to a terminal, then you can uh, you can uh, check out a vehicle. You can get to Walmart or, or wherever the hell you need to go. Uh, but I'm going to go in here and get a few things and get back to the truck and go to bed. Pretty tired. Uh, I'm going to, I'll post this tonight. Hopefully it'll post. Uh, last night's video, I woke up this morning. It was, uh, it was failed to post. I don't know why. But I got that posted this morning, so I'm going to post another one today. It'll be two in one day. Holy cow. Uh, but you guys, keep watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button for me, please. I appreciate it. Put a comment down below. Thanks.